So we've got some more Liverpool transfer news. And no, it's not about Martin Zubamendi. And in fact, it's not even about a player that's likely to be at the club next season. But still, it's something for us to grab onto and to report. And of course, I'm talking about the Valencia goalkeeper, Georgi Mamadashvili. Now, it's my understanding that Liverpool are in talks or certainly exploring a deal was how it was put to me. Uh, that will be worth around £30 million to sign Mamadashvili from Valencia this summer. Now, it's uh, expectation is that you know, there's real hope on Liverpool's side that this one will get done. Valencia seem willing to sell around that price, although there may be you know, a few million in it and those are the sticking points at the moment in negotiations. But I think that both clubs are really in the similar ballpark and it does seem a, an eagerness from the players' side as well to make the move. So real hope, as I say, that this one might get done. And you might be wondering, you know, why is this move coming? I think the, the first place to start is, is the quality of the player. Liverpool definitely convinced by that. And that's a player who's he's still only 23 years old, but he's got fantastic experience behind him. He's already made almost 100 appearances in La Liga for Valencia. So he's got that real mix of being young, having the potential to grow, but already having that great experience and shown that he's a very, very talented keeper and I think anyone who saw him in the Euros as well representing his native Georgia will see that he was a very very good goalkeeper as well I think had everything you need really that as a modern goalkeeper the stature obviously but also the shot stopping the ability with his feet Georgia were very good and entertaining football side I thought as well so I thought he was really interesting from that perspective and Liverpool clearly agree with that assessment and very very keen to get him in this summer but again you might ask why this might be the case when obviously Liverpool have got issues in the squad, things that they need to address going forward. And you would have said that very, very low down the list would be signing a new goalkeeper, not least because they've got Alisson Becker in that position. Now, don't worry, Alisson isn't going anywhere. There's no plans to sanction the move for him uh, in the final days of the window. Um, but there, there are you know, things you've got to prepare for in football, you've got to get ahead of. And I think Alisson is definitely one of them. And Liverpool certainly think that at least. I mean, he's 31 years of age now. He does pick up injuries from time to time and you always worry as players advance in years whether that's going to become more frequent. And by the end of this season, he is expected absolutely he will be staying this season. We can guarantee that. I've said it in videos before. No plans for him to move. But by the end of this season, he'll have just two years remaining on his contract. So that's when things get a little bit precarious, isn't it? If there's other clubs interested in you, you know that's the time where a club has got to make a decision over handing out a new contract or selling at that point. So two years on his contract at the end of this season. And we know also that there's very strong interest from Saudi Arabia in Alisson Becker. And although that is not something he's been interested in doing ahead of this season, he's not been interested in making that move, it's something that could appeal maybe next season, maybe the season after that. And as I say, Liverpool are trying to get ahead of that, that problem by, you know, when a good goalkeeper like this comes on the market, you have to pounce on that opportunity. And the idea from Liverpool's perspective is, succession planning really to make sure that if Alisson does leave at the end of next season or or this coming season sorry or even a, a season after that that they've got someone lined up uh, in Mamadashvili who they feel can be his successor who they feel is good enough to step up into those shoes now of course the the, the plan in that from that point of view with Liverpool wanting to buy the player this summer but maybe not having a place for him in the squad in the coming season is for a, a, a loan move Valencia may be in the running for that. That's a possibility that he goes back to Valencia just on loan for another season and then Liverpool see where they're up to with that and whether the, you know, the space is opened up and Alisson's on the move or not. Um, and, and so it could be a loan move. That I had seen suggestions that maybe Bournemouth would be a place that he could go. Obviously, Richard Hughes has ties there, having just left Bournemouth. But it's my understanding that wouldn't actually be possible. Uh, it's within the Premier League handbook that clubs aren't allowed to sign a player and then immediately loan him to a fellow Premier League team. So I'm not sure that it, that would actually be possible, that he could be loaned uh, to Bournemouth uh, straight away after joining Liverpool. So I think the, the likely uh, possibility is a loan to another European league. And as I say, Valencia would be a really good option for him to do that, just to go back there and and continue his, uh, continue his development as he's done so well in Valencia. He's obviously comfortable there and really stood out there. So I think there's a, a general agreement on all sides that that would be, would be a good move for the player. As I say, some hope that a deal will get done. It, it has been put to me from the Liverpool side of things that you know they are just exploring a deal and seeing whether it's possible. But you know they've definitely got the green light from the player's side to, to make that move. And, and Valencia, as I say, the, the difference in valuation can't be too far apart. I do think they're in the same ballpark there. 
So real hope that this deal will get done. And I, I know some people will be maybe kind of a little bit cynical about this one, particularly in light of the, the Martin Zuber Mendy deal collapsing and, and that being so disappointing. And there's absolutely no doubt uh, from my point of view that there are areas of this Liverpool squad that need to be strengthened. My understanding is that's not going to be in defensive midfield. They're not going to look uh, for, a, for a separate target in that position despite failing in Zuber Mendy. But there are other areas of the squad they are looking to strengthen. And as I say, I do think that is really, really important that they do that. But I think... You know, you can't judge this. You've got to judge this deal on its own merits. And I think, as a as a piece of succession planning and getting ahead of a problem that Allison is likely to to provide you in, in the coming years, I think it's you've got to say that this is a very very smart move on the surface of things. If Liverpool can get it done, because you don't want to, as I say, end up in that situation. As I suppose Liverpool have in defensive midfield, they didn't succession plan for Fabinho. He kind of fell off a cliff quite unexpectedly and they've found themselves in a situation now where they're probably going to head into a third consecutive summer looking for a signing in that defensive midfield position. So I think you've got to look at this deal from that perspective and see that you know it is on its own merits. It's a very, very smart move if Liverpool can get it over the line now. I think the one other thing I maybe want to talk about in terms of what this means for Liverpool and the squad in general is Quivine Kelleher. Obviously, his future has been the subject of quite a lot of uh, speculation really coming into this summer and I think this really does show that he, the likelihood that he is going to be the man who comes in and steps up to replace Alisson is looking very, very slim to be honest. Um, obviously no doubts about his quality as a player. Uh, you know He's been outstanding for Liverpool as that number two in recent years and I think Jurgen Klopp said, didn't he, that you know he's the, he's the best number two in world football and I think Arna Slot would have been very impressed by what he saw over the course of pre-season because he's got that you know, that said about Mama Dash Dashvili, that combination of shot stopping and ability with feet. Well, Kelleher's definitely got that. But in terms of him becoming the Allison successor, just looking unlikely on the basis that Kelleher remains quite keen to leave Liverpool this summer. I think his idea coming into this summer was to, to move on and play first team football elsewhere. Um, and that is still the plan, even with these few days left in the window. If he can make that move, he would love to. But I think clearly it, it, it's if he's going to move on this summer and that's his idea or, or he really wants to move on next summer then he, he's already resolved in his mind not to be the Allison successor and that's why Liverpool are having to look elsewhere and one thing I will say about Kelleher as well in terms of that the likelihood of his moving being moving on we haven't got very long left in the transfer window now do we so if he's going to make that move then it, it has to it has to start moving soon and I think Liverpool aren't going to budge on the price tag. That is going to be between 20 and 25 million or in that region, considering what other goalkeepers have moved for. So it, we really do just have to wait and see whether anyone's going to meet that. Um, it's going to be an interesting few days in terms of that one because there has been so much talk that he would be ready to, to move. But for now, we haven't had any strong interest, any strong approaches, and Liverpool haven't received any bids as I'm speaking now. So Kelleher, as things stand, is going to be Liverpool's second choice next season and uh, and we'll see where we go from there in terms of what that means for the future in terms of with Mamad Ashvili, if he comes in, where Alisson stands up to, it's all up in the air. But Liverpool is very much making sure that they are strong in that goalkeeping department going forward with this move and we'll see if it gets completed. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. Were you impressed by Mamad Ashvili at the Euros? Do you th have you watched him at Valencia? Do you think he'd be a good signing? Um, and do you think that this is a smart move on its own merit? It's not necessarily connected to Liverpool's need to strengthen uh, right now. As I say, let me know in the comments. And if you can like and subscribe as well, always always massively helpful. If you don't subscribe, it's a great ch channel to, to stay in touch with what's going on at Liverpool over this transfer period. And what we expect is going to be a, a busy few days. So do hit that subscribe button and hopefully more news to come in the coming days. And I will see you guys very soon.